Hi folks, it's me, it's Adam. This is South Guy Paranormal on another mobile vlog, but at least I've got it on Monday this time. So uh, it's all good. I'm literally, as you can see, I'm recording it from the comfort of my mobility car. So, well, technically not my mobility car, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd, I'd do this now, whilst I remember, because I'm actually out tomorrow night with some friends and Wednesdays, uh, yeah, I'm doing stuff then as well, so we're going to do this now and um yeah okay so what's again what's been occurring now um firstly i didn't actually again this weekend i've been epically busy when i haven't been asleep uh i had uh, to do some work friday daytime so if you can appreciate me working thursday and friday day and night i was a bit knackered saturday so um, <laughs> I did debate going out and I think 8 o'clock came around and I just fell asleep so uh, yeah I didn't really do anything however um, Sunday uh, I met up with Paige and uh, Paige you already know and Adam from Paranormal Essex and uh, we've had further discussions let me put it that way uh, all I can say is there's going to be some exciting stuff in the pipeline um, from, from all three of us uh, yeah, so again, I, I can't say much more than that at the moment, but plans are afoot to sort of do a uh, quite an expansion in what we do, where we do it, and how we do it. And uh, yeah, as I say, I will keep you informed in due course, but uh, yeah, you're going to enjoy it. And uh, there might be some bits linking in with Liquid Bullet as well, so it's all. Um, yeah, it's literally watch this space. It's just having the time and space to uh, to get things in motion. Because, uh, as you know, uh, the South End Shakedown is fast approaching. So we're like literally all hands on deck at the moment. Uh, you know, the team and I and the council um, trying to get everything, you know, get the T's crossed and the I's dotted and, and so on. It's, uh, yeah, uh, from something that nearly ended up on the floor so to speak um don't get me wrong we've got stuff to do um you know and we've been beset with all sorts of issues you know with losing committee members and um one or two new things that have come up that weren't in 2019 so uh you know we, we've met them and we're dealing with them and hopefully we're going to good have a good event all i know is that um it has generated a great deal of excitement Obviously, it's the first big bike event since, uh, well, for you know, for our neck of the woods anyway. It's the first pretty much big bike event since we got back from COVID, um, you know, since they, they lifted restrictions. Now, I, I, I would think if um, the government had lifted restrictions when it said it was going to last June, we may have had uh, a couple of other events go ahead, but because they left it so late, Obviously, there was other events that were sort of, you know, waiting on what was going to happen with restrictions, and I didn't go ahead. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we will be able to, A, uh, kickstart the, the biking fraternity events this year, uh, B, kickstart the events for South End, the city of South End now, and, um, yeah, it's, it's all going to be good. So, yeah, it, it, as I say... At the moment, that is eating up so much of <laughs> Tommy Morrison's car park in Hadley, so there's people walking around. Um, yeah, that at the moment, as I said, that's literally hands on deck. It's eating up a lot of our time, so um, it was probably a good job I've done the material that I have done for the paranormal content because it's kind of keeping the channel ticking over whilst we deal with that. And uh, yeah, that that's. Um, yeah, that that that's what's happening so far. Um, now, content-wise, um, as you know, this is the second week into the five parts for the Watchard Hall, and this one is of notable interest because we actually head out from Watchard Hall and over to St Andrews, which is just over the road. It's the St Andrews Church behind Watchard Station, not St Andrews Church. Up on Ashington Hill, just to sort of try and not confuse matters and things. But um, <clears throat> yeah, we had 
over there, uh, and it's all the teams that go over there, and we just do, you know, sort of different parts of the cemetery. And um, it was of notable interest to me because one of the spirits that we came across when we did that, when I did that place with um, Tracy, Ricky, Tina, and Jay, was uh, whether the spirit that we come across would uh, reemerge again. So you just got to watch and find out. Um, yeah, that's pretty much where we're at. Um, I've got a tr <laughs> now I've got a party to go to Saturday night. It's probably not going to be called then. I will try and get out Sunday and do something. Not just that, but um, Friday as well. I need to go and explore something in Putney, which I think I might have mentioned. I'm not sure. Um, it's called Barn Cemetery. I think yeah, I did. I think I mentioned it on a, either one or two of the last previous weeks. <clears throat> now I was looking to see the place this Friday just gone. Um, unfortunately, one of the doormen at the pub I do the karaoke for, his um, car fell. It's MOT. So um, obviously he's been having to rely on other transport to get him to his work and that. And, um, I mean, London transport's not too bad, you know, if you're going to ignore some of the TFL rhetoric. But, um, he had taken him quite a while to get home, so he asked, because he, I kind of run, he, he lives in Catford, and, um, because I sort of run close by there on my route home, he asked if I could give him a lift, so I'm like, well, you know, <laughs> can't say no, really, poor fella. Um, so, yeah, instead of visiting Bond Cemetery, I go for, uh, on a doorman lift. <laughs> so um, yeah that's where we are now, I don't know what's going to happen Friday if he's got transport arrangements sorted out then I might have a little cheeky drive over to uh, Barnes and see um, if I can pick anything up and we'll do the Sunday but uh, yeah Saturday I'm very much looking forward to because um, yeah, it's kind of a birthday celebration thing but it's not like a conventional birthday it's going to be something quite different I'm really looking forward to it uh, so yeah that's what we're at a little bit short and sweet this week um, I promise I'm going to do some more full on stuff in the <laughs> if I'm going to do one or two things maybe in a week to come but certainly once the shakedown has been dealt with I can concentrate more on uh, you know get getting the con back on top of the content so as I said this Wednesday um, we have the second part of the Rochard Hall, which is over at St Andrew's Church. And I've got some great bonus content as well on Sunday, which came out of that place, um, like the you know, EVPs. So, uh, yeah, um, two, bit, two for the price of one this week. Anyway, going to leave it there. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, obviously, any thoughts, comments, ideas, or suggestions, drop them down below, and I will respond in due course. Thanks so much, everybody. Love and light to you all. Bye-bye.